Today we are going to be making dog treats with Sadie and Duke. To do this, you will need a little bit of cinnamon. You can also use pumpkin pie spice seasoning. Um, just make sure that there is no nutmeg in it. Um, you need one cup of pumpkin puree, two eggs. You will need two cups of whole wheat flour and a third cup of peanut butter. First, you will add the eggs and you will add the pumpkin and you will add the peanut butter to the mixing bowl and then you will mix that Once all together. Once you have that mixed, you will add your two cups of flour and you will also add half a teaspoon of cinnamon again or you can use pumpkin pie mix to that and stir again. The batter will come out with a consistency that looks very similar. The next step to this. is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Also, I like to line my baking pan with foil because um, they do tend to stick, and then make sure that you spray. And then you will line um, another piece of foil out. I like to do this, it makes cleanup a lot easier. You'll put some flour on it, and then you will take your dough um, and you will put it on, and then you will roll so it. Flat. Once you have your dough looking like this, uh, you can use cookie cutters. I happen to have ones that are shaped like dog objects. Um, you can use other ones like stars or anything you have, or you can shape them on your own. And then you'll go ahead and take your cookie cutters and you will start making your shapes. <laughs> Here I have a dog house. And then once you have them, you will transfer them over to your... So once you have finished your cutting, um, put them into the oven and you're going to bake for 20 minutes. Sometimes it could take up to 40. Uh, you'll just have to check every they're now and then. They're done, they'll be like a little squishy, not too bad, but you can tell that they're hard and then you can give them to your furry friends to enjoy. Yum.